Hello and welcome to the part 3 of the chat program tutorials. Uh, I'm in the chat server class here and this is what we made before. Um, we set up some sockets and some print writers and buffered readers and we created a console so that we can view uh, connections and stuff and uh, we started to suck it on uh, the port 25568 and then we start a new thread and uh, we catch the uh, and in this thread is for uh, con uh, accepting connections so we accept the connection here uh, we set up some uh, print writers and buffered readers to send information and get information from that socket and then we start a thread for that socket so that we can catch uh, we can catch uh, uh, information. Uh, so when the when this uh, socket is connecting, we send uh, uh, a message to that client, "Welcome to the server." And in this loop, we will handle stuff like uh, if it sends a message, that message should be sent to the other clients and stuff like that. So um, another thing we're gonna create in here is that we're gonna create a uh, class called uh, user and uh, this will actually uh, actually let's let's leave it like that for now uh, and we'll come back to this class later when we have set up the uh, client so uh, let's close the server things and let's create a new class in the client project so or, uh, name this class uh, client. Okay, so uh, the same as in the chat server, we're gonna need a socket and this. So just copy this uh, in here. So socket, socket, print writer, buffer reader, stuff like that. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is that we uh, we want a window so that we can view the uh, chatting. So uh, to do that, we're going to cr uh, create a new class here, and we're just going to name this chat window. And this will uh, extends J frame. So instead of an uh, import J frame as well. So instead of creating a J frame inside of here. Uh, we make it so that the class extends JFrame, which, which means this class is a JFrame, kind of. Uh, it, it inheritance from the JFrame uh, class. So now we want to hold here and we're going to add default serial version uh, to get rid of that error. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to do. Uh, uh, s static in with is equal to let's say 640. Static in high height is equal to width divided by two times nine. Uh, no, sorry, divided by uh, 16 times nine. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is uh, just set up the constructor public chat window no. and we're going to do this dot set size new dimension actually maybe you don't need a dimension here with height no that works okay and now we're going to do this dot set resizable false this dot set visible to true and also this dot set default close operation uh, 3 which will make it either you can type jframe dot exit on close or you could do uh, just 3 which means the same thing okay so uh, we also want to create a j panel here uh, static final J panel panel is equal to new J panel. Import J panel, great. And 
we're also going to need static final uh, uh, text uh, j text area text area is equal to new j text area so that we can view the chat so that we actually can get messages okay and we're also going to need a uh, static final j scroll pane scroll is equal to new j scroll pane text area and that is so that we can actually scroll in the chat okay there we go so now what we're going to do here is that we're going to do this dot add panel and we're also going to do this dot add uh, no sorry panel dot add scroll and we're going to do scroll dot set uh, preferred size can you do something like that no we need a dimension new Dimension uh, with uh, minus six, uh, 32 height minus 32. Import dimension. There we go. So, uh, yeah, actually, let's make the. Uh, we're going to create a function here as well. So, public static. Uh, write to chat so that we can write stuff to the chat and string text uh, scroll no. no we need to do text area dot append text plus um, slash n so that it's it gets a new line uh, what error do we have oh we need static void Sorry. Okay, there we go. And uh, <coughs> I think we're done with this class. So let's go into the. Uh, let's close the chat server. Let's go into the client here, and we're gonna do. Uh, set up a constructor public client client. Sorry, client. Um, and first, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna. Uh, Create a new chat window. So, chat window. Actually, let's put. No, sorry. Uh, chat window. No, we just need to do new chat window. Okay, there we go. And uh, so now we also need to set up this. Uh, this is actually start the client. Public static static void main string args client uh, new client okay so now we should be able to start the client and we get this chat window here and I wanna uh, do 64 here instead so that you know we wanna fit some buttons and your stuff here so uh, let's do 100 let's see how, what, what it looks like so yeah it looks fine uh, so now what we're gonna do is go into the client and we're gonna do uh, socket is equal to new socket uh, local host for now and two five five six eight eight okay and what's wrong here yeah we need to surround with try and catch there we go. And we're gonna do uh just wanna open here for a second. Um yeah. So um uh, out is equal to new print writer. Uh, and I just forgot a little bit here what to do, so uh yeah, socket dot socket dot get output stream and true. And true means that it will auto flush the uh, the uh, messages coming out in so and now we're going to do n is equal to new buffered reader and yeah new input stream reader socket dot get input stream and we need to import input stream reader 
there we go. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to do uh, um, um, yeah, we're going to write to the console. Uh, uh, con we're going to do string message is equal to in dot read line, and we're going to do uh, chat window dot write to chat uh, message. Well, let's see if this works now. So we're going to start the server. Start that, and. You see the server started, we're going to open the client, and yeah, we got the message from the server. Uh, so this message is sent here, welcome to the server, and we'll see this. So I want to try another thing here, and that is to, uh, we're going to write uh, something in here that is written all the time. So let's like, uh, let's write o.println. This text is sent all the time. So this will be sent all the time. I just want to see if it was this easy to do. Uh, do this. No, uh, we need a thread inside of the uh, uh, chat uh, client. Uh, I don't think we need a thread though, but we're going to need a. Uh, <coughs> A while through true thing here. I think that is enough. So if we start a server now and we go into the client, yeah, we're getting this message all the time, as you can see. And this is sent uh, via the server from the server. So everything seems to be working fine. So uh, thanks for watching this part of the um, videos, this series. And in the next series, we will actually make it so that we can chat uh, to each other. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.